Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today's video, it's kind of a follow on to one I did recently on Luminar about moving your images and some of the things you have to be careful about if you're working outside of Luminar. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Uh, link below, there should be a card, a little icon popping up here that'll tell you where to go find it. But uh, it generated uh, questions around, well, what do I do if I want to move my photos from, say, my laptop to an external hard drive? You know, uh, I want to move things to something more portable. How do I do that without losing all of my edits? Now, this is something I talk about in my book, Luminar Essentials, and has some strategies for how to organize your catalog, how to you know, move things around. I'm going to show you how to move a set of photos from, in this case, a laptop to an external hard drive and keep all of your edits. And uh, stick around after that part of it because I want to talk about a kind of a, a problem I discovered with uh, this approach with um, OS Catalina, oh, uh, Mac OS Catalina. So uh, let's get to how it works and how it should work, and I'll show you the problem I've found with Catalina. So here I have my Luminar catalog with a series of folders, I have a bunch of photos in them, take a place here. And this is where they are on my computer itself. So this is on the laptop. And I want to move all of these to this external hard drive right over here, which has nothing in it right now. I want to maintain those edits. So how do we do that? Well, the danger of moving things at the Finder or Explorer level is you'll lose your edits. And go back and watch this other video I posted about a week ago if you haven't watched it already is that will show you the danger of doing certain things at the finder level. It's, uh, it's, you don't want to do that. You'll, you'll lose work. So instead, what we will do is register a new folder with Luminar. So I'll say add folder with images. Here is my external hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'll just call it pictures. I have that selected now and say add folder. So now I have this empty folder called pictures that's on the hard drive so Luminar created that for me and now using drag and drop I can just take the contents of folders or actually the folders themselves and move them to the hard drive so let's start with uh, this folder here with this Japan folder I'm just gonna drag that over to pictures we saw it disappear from my laptop and over in the mobile area if I go into pictures I see Japan. Now I've noticed that sometimes Luminar takes a while to catch up with the fact that the files have moved and so still we see zero pictures. We see the Japan folder, it still says zero. That's okay. Uh, I will do the rest of these folders and then if I need to I'll stop Luminar and restart it and everything is intact. Uh, so the, um, the only caveat with, with moving everything around is you have to do it by folder. So I can do Italy, I can do Spain, and we're seeing them show up on the hard drive. If you have nested folders like this, I can take the top nested folder and move that, and it will move all of the subcontents as well. So depending on how many folders you have, you may have a little bit of dragging and dropping to do, but you can get there, and all these things move. Luminar keeps things up to date in its catalog because it knows where things have moved to. I'll let things settle down. I'll give Luminar a couple of minutes to catch up with all these moves and rescan, and then our, our library will be intact. All right, so Luminar took a little longer than I was willing to wait, so I stopped Luminar, restarted it, and we see now we have all of these same folders, these same image counts. They are all now on this external hard drive right out here in this pictures and then all the subfolders that I had there. And if I pick on some of these, you can see my edits are still intact. That, that sky replacement there, I've got my treatment on these you know, wooden shingles. And once I'm com you know, comfortable that everything's moved, I can remove this folder from my catalog entirely. It's all right. And I've now moved all the contents, all the photos I care about onto the external hard drive. At this stage, too, I can shut down Luminar, and I can move the catalog itself on the external hard drive, and then I have a nice self-contained portable library with my photos. And that's how I like to operate 
with uh, really with any of my asset management. I like everything on something external to this machine because eventually this machine will get updated. Photos I want to keep moving forward and going with me as I upgrade hardware. So that's the nickel tour of it. Remember, you have a, a, a new hard drive, go into that add folder with images, create a new folder, create a container for it, and then drag and drop the different folders in there. Now I mentioned a caveat with macOS Catalina. So my laptop's running an older version of macOS. My desktop is running Catalina. I discovered that something is odd with drag and drop in macOS Catalina. And I have not been able to figure out if there's some sort of security setting I need to open up or if it's Luminar needs to be updated. There's some disconnect between the two. So looking at this same kind of setup where I've got a bunch of pictures on one hard drive and I've got an external hard drive here, and I pick one of these folders, I cannot drag and drop. I can't drag folders from one place to another or even make subfolders. So it's not even uh, anything to do with trying to move something to another hard drive. Just the normal drag and drop reorganization that we're used to and expect to work in Luminar, it's not working right with macOS Catalina. If you happen to have seen this problem and know what the solution is, leave me a comment below. I haven't been able to figure out if there's some particular box I haven't checked or ticked in the Mac system preferences or so forth. So be aware of that with macOS Catalina. Now, what can you do if you're stuck with this situation? Uh, it's a little painstaking, but you can go and say, all right, let me create a new subfolder. I've got one there called California. And then I can go into California. I can command or control A all my photos and I can drag those over to the new location. So there is still a way to move everything over to your new hard drive, but it's going to be a lot more time consuming because you're going to have to visit every folder that you have and that's not optimal, let's just say. So um, anyway, that is the story on moving a collection of your photos, folders and all, to an external hard drive in Luminar and maintaining your edits, your metadata, that's the key thing. Don't do this type of stuff outside of Luminar. Do it within Luminar. Keep your catalog consistent. Hope you found this useful. Got uh, questions or if you know the answer to this uh, Mac OS Catalina drag and drop thing, please drop a comment below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.